of grass walking down the road tell me how long you're gonna stay here Joe some people say this town don't look good at snow you don't care I know Ventura Highway in the sunshine where the days are longer the nights are stronger than moonshine you're gonna go I know who will be heading down the Ventura Highway next week the Foothill College Owls or the Santa Rosa Junior College men's Bear Cubs you'll find out next Welcome to Hale Pavilion on the campus of Santa Rosa Junior College for this CCAA Regional Final on NorCal Sports TV. I'm Chris Babcock. Thanks for joining us. And we opened up a little I Saved Your Ears by Not Singing. That's a song written by America in 1972, although there is no official Ventura Highway. There is a highway, which is the US 101, and runs along the Pacific Ocean, along LA and Ventura counties. And one of these teams will be making that trek next week. Foothill, seated number five in Northern California, got a two point win over Butte. And that revenged a earlier season loss against Butte. And Santa Rosa, winners of 20 in a row, beat Las Positas last week, 81-58. And they are seeded number four, and they are playing fantastic 
here at Hale Pavilion. They are 11-0, and they're averaging 94, po 94 plus points a game. We talked with the 18th 18th season veteran coach of the Santa Rosa Junior College Bear Cubs, Craig McMillan, on tonight's game. Craig, regional final tonight. What kind of things does Foothill present offensively against the Bear Cubs tonight? They're really good in transition. They get out, they get the ball out on turnovers, on long rebounds, and they get down quickly. They have two of the better one-on-one -on -one players in Northern California in Gil Fernandez and Matt McAndrews. We gotta try to keep them out of the lane, make them shoot over us. They're really good at getting to the basket and finding open guys. You played them early in the year. Obviously, both teams have got a lot better. What can you learn from that early season matchup? Uh, you know, both teams are, are totally different. It doesn't, it, it doesn't mean a whole lot right now. But in general, if we can keep them out of the lane, make them shoot over us, it works to our advantage. If they're splitting their defense and getting down in transition, it's going to be their advantage. And you got to like the way that your leading scores, they were so effective. I mean... You guys were very efficient, 24-33 between Sadiq, Graves, and Skyler. Um, hard to get that, duplicate that production, but they've been pretty consistent this year for you. They've been consistent. You know, it seems like this year we've had somebody different step up almost every game, so we're hoping somebody will step up and make some big plays, and that's what it's going to take to get a win. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. And let's talk a little bit about Foothill. Matt Stanley in his fifth season, Chico native, played at Chico High, played at Shasta College, then went to Lewis and Clark, was the assistant, co longtime assistant coach at Foothill from 2006 to 2011, then took a two-year part-time head coaching job at Kenyatta and was fortunate to come back and get a full-time job, and he's in the fifth season, and there having their best season, and they're much like Santa Rosa. They like to shoot the threes. They like to attack the basket. Not a strong rebounding team, but they have two capable scores, as Coach McMillan talked about. Mac McAndrews, he had 15 points last week. He's an all-coast North, uh, all Coast North Conference player, and Alex Gill-Fernandez, Another skilled all-conference player. Both had big games last week. But the game against Butte was kept close because Foothill kept splitting their one-on-one free throw, or their, and one, or their bonus free throws. They were in the bonus, the double bonus, with continually split free throws. And as Coach Stanley said, they made the game much harder than it needed to be. These two teams met up in November, and Santa Rosa had the easy 73-56 to 56 victory. And Foothill shot a drizzling 18% from long range and 32% overall. The Bear Cubs led by Big 8, or Big 8 Conference Player of the Year, Skyler Chavez playing some great basketball, and last week the Bear Cubs literally took care of business against Las Positas. They shot over 50% from the field. They were 10 of 29 from long range, and they had four Bear Cubs in double figures. Chavez, Sufi, and Graves shot a combined 24 of 33. When you're leading, your scores are that efficient. You know what you got to say? Somebody's got to miss. And they had some guys that did miss that didn't have good games uh, as far as scoring but contributed in many ways. Let's take a look at the brackets for the CCAA tournament. City College of San Francisco is hosting Gavel, and that game will go at 7 o'clock or 7.30 after the girls game. They are the number one seed. And and then you've got Gavilan 
Oh, Cabrillo's playing San Francisco at 7.30. Gavlin is playing Fresno City at 7.30. And Sequoia is playing at Yuba at 7 o'clock. So those are, those are all the northern regional games. The same thing's happening down in Southern California. All of those games will eventually get you on the Ventura Highway. <laughs> I've been waiting to read that all week long. And, sadly, no matter what happens tonight, it is our last Santa Rosa Junior College men's basketball game this season. And many thanks to all of our partners in business and the coaching staffs, all the coaching staffs of the teams we've played against and have supported us, given us all the information to prepare us for the game. This is a regional final. It's championship Saturday once again here. And you'll go to the final eight. We'll have our national anthem here at Santa Rosa. And then we'll give you the lineups and our officials and get ready to go here from Hale Pavilion. That is Taylor Scott with our national anthem. And we'll get the starting lineups first for Foothill, as announced by Matt Stanley. McAndrews, Gil Fernandez, Patoki, Russell, and Colorado.
now your lineups for your Bear Cubs. Same starting lineup we've seen for the later part of the season. And there's your Santa Rosa Junior College Bear Cub lineup. Yane, Keeve, Graves, Sufi, and Chavez. Last game of their careers at home for Yane, Keeve, Graves, and Sufi. And they want to go out a winter and take that Ventura Highway to Southern California. Our officials are Matt Diddy, Jeremy Dente, and Greg Pucciona, Pu Puccioni. Santa Rosa 24 and four, ranked eight, seated fourth. Foothill 21 and eight, seated fifth and ranked 10 in the state. They're in their dark uniforms. Santa Rosa in their home whites. Thanks for watching on NorCal Sports TV. I'm Chris Babcock. And Santa Rosa gets the opening tip. And Graves over to Keeve and Yane. Now, Yane has struggled offensively, but Yane likes seeing Las Positas. He had 22, or not Las Positas, likes seeing Foothill. He had 22 points in the Bear Cubs win in November. Yane misses it, and good job of Chris Russell of blocking out. And Key's coming into the game for Foothill. Slow down Santa Rosa. Don't let him shoot the threes. Make him earn it. And make some threes of themselves, for themselves rather. And transition defense. And understanding what that means. Santa Rosa will have opportunities for layups. And they'll kick it out for a three. Layup by Russell. He had 10 points and 12 rebounds. A little double-double for him against Butte College. Chavez, number 33, was nearly perfect last week. 9 of 11 from the field. Key with a drive. Doesn't go. Key went scoreless last week. But he had 7 assists and 5 rebounds. Now, Foothill will play a man defense, but they do a lot of switching, so it appears to be a little bit of a matchup zone. They miss that three, and Graves with the board. Sufi from 17. That doesn't go. Sufi had 18.6 rebounds and two assists last week. He didn't start the game against Las Positas, or against Foothill, rather but had eight points off the bench. Patoki with the basketball to Gil Fernandez. Nice spin move, but doesn't draw iron, and Graves will go coast to coast, but misses the layup. Coach McMillan wanted to foul. Patoki. Misses that, Long Ranger. And Yane with a rebound. 
looking to get on the board. Foothills picking them right up, playing good man-to-man -man defense, switching on the screens. There's an example. Got to catch him in mismatches. Bad pass by Keeve. Russell with the steal. Keeve with that cross-court pass with not much velocity and Chris Russell right in the passing lane. And both these teams, you know, you're not, these aren't your typical three games a week seasons when you're in the playoffs. You play one game a week. So you're able to watch a lot of film and get familiar with your opponent. And you know those tendencies. When he does this, we can do that. Patoki with the basketball. McAndrews short with that one. And the Bear Cubs are averaging over 94 points a game at home. Chavez doing what he does. Green light basketball. Good shots to great shots. Spin cycle move is good. Alex Gil Fernandez. He had 15 points against Santa Rosa in their matchup in November. He had eight, 19 points, eight rebounds, and three Wilsonburgers, a.k.a. block shots, last week against Butte Graves. Drive and kick. Spot up shooting. Be aware where they are. That time Foothill was unaware and Graves made him pay. Su Sufi with the long rebound. Drive and kick. Yune shares it to Sufi. Doesn't go. McAndrews with the basketball. He gets it back. Nice move against Yane. But Sufi's there to help his team out, teammate out with a blocked shot. Wilsonberger served here at Hale Pavilion. Chavez. Skyler Chavez is only 11 out of his last 13. He's not shooting well at all. And that's the tough thing, toughest thing about defending Santa Rosa. He will, he's as skilled as you find, but he's capable of finding open guys. All the teammates are. Somebody always steps up. Key with a lap. Timeout. Foothill, it's 10 to four. Santa Rosa didn't get their first basket until 1640 into the game, but well, Santa Rosa scores quickly. Jolly Washer Express is the only true express car wash in Santa Rosa. Jolly Washer Express will wash your car for $8 in less than six minutes. You never have an attendant trying to sell you extra services. If you want a clean car fast, free vacuums, Come on in to Jolly Washer Express at the 76 gas station on the corner of Coffee Lane and Piner Road. JollyWasherExpress.com. Jolly Washer Express will be donating one dollar for each car wash for the Santa Rosa JC basketball season. Would like to thank Oliver's Market for their great pregame meal for the team. Oliver's Market. Off the timeout. That little reorganizational meeting was effective for Coach Stanley as Gil Fernandez nails that shot. Cross court pass to Graves. Nice move along the baseline. Kicks it over to Keeve. You just know that's going in. I'm sorry. But it's that good shot to great shot. And that is the result. And such a high percentage of the time those go in. So I can almost call it as it leaves the hand. Nice drive. 
Joe Potoki had 11 against Butte, including three threes. Now, I knew that one wasn't going in early in the shot clock. Chris Russell with the rebound, and he'll take it up court. And reach in on Sufi. And Nick Murtha out of Leland High School has checked in for Coach Stanley. Gil Fernandez misses on that mid-range jumper. Graves of the board, and he'll bring it up court. Keith to Chavez. Same situation. Yude was kind of open. Keith was kind of open. Chavez wide open. Backdoor cut. Keith. Good defense, Chavez with the basketball. Stop with the air breaks. Chavez with eight quick ones. This time last week, you know what he was doing? He was sitting on the bench because he had two fouls. Then didn't commit another foul after that. Chavez with the thievery. Oh, pretty move! Bob Cousy be proud. I can't wait to see that one again. Chavez with 10. Coach McMillan wanted to travel. Watch this. Here's another angle. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's pretty. That's pretty. If you're a basketball fan, you watch that play, you got a big smile on your face. And I am a fan, and I have a big smile on my face. Nice drive to the basket. Matthew Blaney had nine off the bench against Butte. See, Chavez will pass. He's not going to force it. He's going to play within the game. Yane elbow jumper, heartbreak. Jason McMillan in the ba basketball game. He had four, to, four assists off the bench. He's a distributor off the bench for his dad. Nice defense. Oh, Pew's call for the reach in. I think he had him around the hip, though. You know, I know everybody likes the dunks and everything, but that Skylar Chavez move was as pretty as any move you'll see all year. Mick Andrews, not off to a good start, misses another shot. Bear Cubs with the basketball. McMillan! Why are they averaging 95 points a game at home? I think the last three minutes are a prime illustration. McAndrews goes right to the basket. Three defenders there. Pew to Yane. Chavez, crossover move. He's fouled. And he'll get a couple of shots. This kid's feeling it, folks. A little peanut butter jelly leg move here. <laughs> That's pretty. Next year, when he get after he's in the weight room, he's gonna go and dunk that basketball. Malcolm Jenkins checks in and Graves is back in the ball game. Jenkins, McMillan, Chavez, Pew, and Graves for the Bear Cubs. They're off to a good start. And when you're, they have, when Santa Rosa has a chance to 
be in tempo and rhythm in their offense. Good defense there. It's They're very dangerous. Hometown roll. Toki might have relatives in Sonoma County. Got the friendly roll. Pew for three. Not quite let the game come to him with that shot. Sometimes you have to take those. Bad pass. Pew goes next play. Gets the steal. Graves setting up over here in the corner. Chavez with the basketball. All eyes are on him. Pew 0 for 2. Now last week he was 3 of 5 from long range, had 12 points, so the next one's probably going in. McAndrews with the drive, and he's fouled by Graves. Hometown roll by uh, for Patoki on that. McAndrews, the free throw line. He was three of nine from the free throw line against Butte. That's why it was a two point game. They were splitting a lot of free throws. And as Coach Stanley said, they just, we just made it more difficult than we needed to. But they got the win, they've survived, they've moved on. Chavez with the basketball. Bear Cubs with their motion offense. Graves doing a lot of dribbling. Chavez has got an opening. Pew. Nice pass. And Jenkins is fouled. Now I like that game. Here's Pew taking advantage of his situation. He's open for this three. But he goes from good shot to great shot. Had the opening. And Jenkins is right there. He had four points last week off the bench, but then had 17 off the bench against American River. Sufi will check in for Chavez. Blake Henry was in the game, and they took, took one in the thigh. And he's attended to by the Foothill training staff. Nine-point basketball game here at Hale Pavilion in Santa Rosa. Thanks for joining us on NorCal Sports TV. McAndrews guarded by Graves. And there's McAndrews' resume in a nutshell. Savvy put the ball on the floor, attacks the basket. Good three-point shot. Crafty basketball player, all-conference. Bear Cubs been kind of stagnant the last three possessions on offense. Pew with a high difficult shot, misses. Sufi drives, gets his own rebound, and he's rejected by Gil Fernandez, and Foothill will run. Patoki with a layup, and it's a timeout, Bear Cubs. All of a sudden, it's a five-point ball game. Was a 13-point ball game, but the Owls battled and got back into it. This Santa Rosa Junior College men's basketball CCAA regional final on NorCal Sports TV is brought to you in part by Jolly Washer Express. TriMet Mechanical, innovative solutions and expertise for over two decades for commercial plumbing in Northern California. Lombardi's Gourmet Deli and Barbecue in Petaluma. Asiello's Fifth Street Grill. Lagania's Brewing Company. Vice Properties. Wild California. Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa. The Almond Express and Mike Kiefer and family for their generous donation. Bear Cup basketball after Coach McMillan's timeout. And Foothill's a capable scoring team. The Bear Cubs turn it over, nearly turn it over. Held basketball. Jason McMillan was trying to call timeout. 
Coach McMillan at half court. Unlike most parents these days, he didn't send an email to the officials. He just talked to them straight there. But pretty good move by McAndrews. Santa Rosa led by 13. Now it's five points. Gil Fernandez misses. Offensive rebound by Calario. And I'm probably butchering his name, and I apologize. That three is good. Matthew Blaney. And it's a two-point game. Nice run here by Foothill. Gilbert drives to Sufi. Back to Sufi. 15-footer. Heartbreak. Gilbert with the offensive rebound. Gray's hesitant, and it shows in his shot. Skyler Chavez in company will be checking back into the ball game. That's a wide open look. Doesn't go, fortunately, for Santa Rosa. Pugh with the rebound. Gilbert misses the drive. And Santa Rosa's gone from being very hot to very cold, kind of like the, in the weather we've been dealing with. Potoki misses, and Sufi with the rebound. It's almost like Coach McMillan wants to get Chavez in the game. Motion offense will cure all slumps. And Gilbert misses that. And Foothill, for their third time, will get a chance to tie it. McAndrews driving kick. Up and under. Fernandez ties it up. The Bear Cubs took the foot off the gas pedal. And it shows. Quite a run for Foothill. Graves. Sufi with an offensive rebound. Should have just went up for the lap. Tries to pass the ball to McMillan. And it's stolen. That's a bomb. Matthew Blaney. Timeout. Blaney from long range. I mean, he was as a wide open look for him. And timeout Santa Rosa. Jolly Washer Express is the only true express car wash in Santa Rosa. Jolly Washer Express will wash your car for $8 in less than six minutes. It will never have an attendant trying to sell you extra services at the pay station. If you want a clean car fast and free vacuums, come visit us today. And if you want the best deal in town, ask us about our unlimited wash club. Jolly Washer Express at the 76 gas station on the corner of Coffee Lane and Pioneer Road. Or visit us online at JollyWasherExpress.com. Jolly Washer Express will be donating $1 for each car wash to the Santa Rosa JC basketball season to the North Bay Fire Relief Fund. This is Foothill's first lead since they led 2-0. But Blaney with a couple of big threes and getting wide open looks and that's something that the Bear Cubs practice this week. Drive and kick and Played well defensively early on. Chavez back in the basketball game. And the run ends for Foothill. 
And Chavez now has 15. Gil Fernandez with the basketball, guarded by Keeve. Graves with a steal, near steal rather. Fernandez sticks with it. That three doesn't go. Chavez with the rebound, and he's undercut by Nick Murtha. And you can see Skyler Chavez's immediate contribution coming in off the bench. Or after rest, he's a starter, I get it, but after his rest. Foothills 3 of 10, and Santa Rosa's 4 of 8 from long range. Janae, who has yet to score tonight, like to see him get involved in the offense. Graves. Drive and kick, pretty simple when executed. Santa Rosa takes back the lead. Patoki, high level of difficulty pass to Fernandez who gets it back to Patoki. He misses, long rebound by Foothill. And both these teams are some of the worst offensive rebounding teams in the state. Heartbreak for Russell. The Bear Cubs have numbers. Chavez from 17, little short. Gil Fernandez with the rebound. Nice defense by Keeve. Patoki with the basketball. He'll set the offense for Coach Stanley. Key with a rebound. He'll push. He goes in attack mode to the basket. Heartbreak. Blaney with a rebound. Or Russell, rather, with the rebound. Foothills 3 of 12 from downtown. Gil Fernandez down in the low block. Pretty jumper against Chavez. There's a reason he scores 18 plus a game. He's also their leading rebounder. Sufi low block, entry, pass, Graves, assist. Fidel is in always in motion. Key with a rebound. Thought he was fouled. No call by the officials, and Gil Fernandez will dish it to Russell. Graves with the Wilsonberger. McAndrews checks it back into the ball game for Murtha. What's for dinner? Wilson Burgers. But Daddy, those will taste very good. Well, do a better job of getting a better shot. Gil Fernandez drives and gets it to Padoki. Ten on the shot clock. McAndrews. Long rebound to Gil Fernandez. Three or four times that's gone Foothill's way. Fernandez trying to break down Keeve. He's double teamed. McAndrews. Always seems to be in the right spot. He was that time. Took advantage. And the foul is on Yane. And McAndrews will get a couple of free throws. See, there's McAndrews. He's always in a good spot. That's knowing how to play the game makes the first. He's averaging over 19 a game, four assists. He only had eight points 
in the first matchup against Santa Rosa. Chavez loses the ball. Chance for Foothill to take the lead, but they don't. Key with a rebound. He'll push. Doesn't really have numbers, and he'll set it for Santa Rosa. Sufi wants the ball on the low block. Yeah, it's a matchup zone. They're not running with the cutters. They're consistently switching guys. Five on the shot clock for ENA. He needs this. Doesn't go. And about a six second differential in the shot clock and the game clock. Coach Stanley like to milk this as much as he can and get the lead and get a stop. Gil Fernandez misses the layup. Yene, here's Coach McMillan, and he'll reset the offense. They'll go one shot, thumbs up here. Little iso. Chavez for three. And he's fouled, and he'll get three free throws. He just lures you in. Great crowd here once again at Hale Pavilion. And Chavez misses the first free throw. Gets a hometown roll. Gets another hometown roll. And it's 33-31 Santa Rosa at halftime. The Santa Rosa Junior College Men's Basketball CCAA Regional Final on NorCal Sports TV is brought to you in part by Oliver's Market, locally owned and operated. Jolly Washer Express. Trimic Mechanical. Lombardi's Gourmet Deli and Barbecue in Petaluma. Osiello's Fifth Street Grill in Santa Rosa. Lagunitas Brewing Company. Vice Properties, Wild California, Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa, the Omelette Express, and Mike Kiefer for their generous donation. It's halftime as Santa Rosa leads Foothill 33-31 in this CCAA Regional Final on NorCal Sports TV. We're gonna take a brief audio break. We'll show you some halftime highlights. We'll come back with statistics and the second half and see who's taking the Ventura Highway. You're watching Santa Rosa Junior College Men's Basketball on NorCal Sports. TV.
opportunities for layups, and they'll kick it out for a three. Um, Chavez, great shots. Spin cycle move is good. Last week against Butte, Graves. Nice move against Yanay. Served here at Hale Pavilion. Chavez. Somebody always steps up. Key with a layup. Timeout. Kicks it over to Keeve. Call it as it leaves the hand. Nice drive. Keeve to Chavez. With the basketball. Stop with the air thievery. Oh, pretty move! My face. Nice drive to the basket. Matthew Blant, Bear Cubs with the basketball. McMillan. Chavez, crossover move. He's fouled. They're very dangerous. Hometown roll. Pew. Nice pass. McAndrews guarded by Graves. And there's McAndrews by Gil Fernandez. And Foothill will, uh, will run. Potoki with a layup. That three is good. Matthew. Up and under. Fernandez ties it up. Ball game. And the run ends for Foothill. Get involved in the offense. Graves. Down in the low block. Pretty jumper against. No call by the officials. And Gil Fernandez will dish it to Russell. Green. McAndrews. Oh. Chavez for three. And he's. We're back here in Santa Rosa. And we do more than just stream and produce basketball and football and baseball and lacrosse. We also have events. The biggest all-star event on the West Coast is coming on April 1st. Want more information? Get your notepad out and enjoy this little promo video. Scores from around the state. Ventura is leading San Diego City 49-45. Cerritos over Santiago Canyon 39-38. Orange Coast leads Citrus 44-32. San Bernardino Valley leads 34-31 over Allen Hancock. Scoring first for Foothill. McAndrews with six. Gil Fernandez with eight. Patoki with seven. And Blaney with eight off the bench. Chavez with 17. Leads all scores. Grace with six. Keeve with five. Chavez with the basketball. Turnaround jumper. He's got 19. He's missed one shot. Missed two shots last week. Travel. 
I don't think that was the play set that Foothills coaching staff wanted to see run there. This Foothill took their first lead late in the first half. McAndrews with the steal and the layup. Then Santa Rosa tied it and then took the lead right before the half as Chavez made two or three from the free throw line. So he's missed two shots. He missed a free throw and, and one from the elbow earlier. Pass deflected by Russell. Good defense. Recognized the offensive set for the Bear Cubs. Potoki graves of the board. Keeve gets his own rebound to Chavez. Well, you know what the result's going to be there. Keeve is one of the most consistent rebounders in the state, meaning it's five or six a game. He's not the biggest guy on the court. If he shoots threes, you've got to screen him out. If you don't, he'll get the offensive rebound, and he'll find an open teammate. And he found Chavez wide open. Graves with a steal. And the up and under doesn't go. Chavez on the offensive rebound. That was a pretty play by Ch uh, Graves. Yane, much needed basket for the Casa Grande alum. His first points of the game. They got excited because Graves got the steal. Passed it to himself up ahead and couldn't get the acrobatic layup to go. Fernandez. Yane with the steal and then. That's Cedric playing with confidence and shooting with confidence there. Not hesitating. Green light. That's not his last basket of the game. That's my prediction. Keeve drives and he's fouled. Gil Fernandez. And we have just really enjoyed doing the games this year. And there's something that's a key to Coach McMillan and his staff and finding the players they do is get guys that buy into the system. It's not a, it's not a difficult system but it's one that's team orientated and a lot of times it's hard to find guys that want to play that way and coach McMillan is 18 seasons is consistently finding guys like that Sufi misses the offensive put back 18 seasons he's won 377 basketball games and a state championship and he's 17 minutes away from making another trip. But the crafty McAndrews with a much needed three. For Coach Stanley and he'll call the timeout after the made three. And there's McAndrews working his McMagic. Jolly Washer Express is the only true express car wash in Santa Rosa. Jolly Washer Express will wash your car for $8 in less than six minutes. You'll never have an attendant trying to sell you extra services at the pay station. Antonio Bunting and family, we appreciate your support. If you want a clean car fast, go see our friends at Jolly Washer Express at the 76 gas station on the corner of Coffee Lane and Piner Road. Or visit us online at JollyWasherExpress.com. Jolly Washer Express will be donated $1 for each car wash through the Santa Rosa Junior College men's basketball season to the North Bay Fire Relief Fund. And Bear Cup fans hope that they'll be making those donations for another week. But we really appreciate all of our partners who have helped us bring you Santa Rosa Junior College men's basketball this season. Sufi is fouled from behind by Potoki. You might get away with that with two officials, but not three. 
Third team foul for the Owls. Graves inbounds to Sufi. Little two-man game with Graves to Chavez. And I can say that with confidence because in two playoff games, he missed two shots and a free throw. Spin move by Gil Fernandez. Doesn't go. And there's a foul laid on the call there. Chavez. And he's not wide open there. There's two guys running at him. But the problem is he elevates so well and shoots the ball as he's supposed to at the top of his jump shot. Gil Fernandez with the free throws. Santa Rosa led 33-31 at half. Four or five lead changes late in the first half after Santa Rosa took a 13-point lead. Leads down to five for the Bear Cubs. Graves with the basketball. A lot of dribbling. Sufi to Chavez. Graves surveys the defense. Keeve, nice move. Got to shoot it. Sufi misses, and Chavez nearly beats three guys to the basketball. Matthew Blaney, who had a nice first half, had eight points off the bench. Patoki with a drive. Chavez with a rebound. He'll look to push. Keeve dribble along the baseline. Graves doesn't go. Bear Cubs trying to get back in their transition defense. They do. Fernandez double teamed over to Patoki. Front rim. Graves had position. Somehow the Bear Cubs got the basketball. Sufi wide open. Short. And the basketball goes to Foothill. McMillan in for Sufi. McAndrews can't leave him alone two point basketball game every time it looks like the Bear Cubs have a chance to stretch their lead they take Foothill comes down then McMillan with his second basket as I was saying every time it seems like Santa Rosa is looking to push and Get a lead. Fernandez is fouled on the floor. You got to close out on him a little quicker, Cedric Ine. Third personal on Keeve. McAndrews with the basketball. Guarded by Ine. You can't let a guy go into his dominant hand, Denny I. And that's exactly what McAndrews did. He's right-handed, and he went right, and there was no one there to help. No one comes and helps. That's one of the leading scorers in the state <laughs> with an uncontested layup, and Coach McMillan with the timeout. Santa Rosa Junior College Men's Basketball on NorCal Sports TV is brought to you by Jolly Washer Express, Trimic Mechanical, Lombardi's Gourmet Deli and Barbecue in Petaluma, Asiello's Fifth Street Grill, Lagunitas Brewing Company, Vice Properties, Wild California, Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa, the Almut Express, 
and Mike Kiefer and family for their generous donation. And also special thanks to Oliver's Markets, locally owned and operated, supplying the Bear Cubs pre-game meal. The winner of this game will take the Ventura Highway down to Southern California for the state championship. Long way to go. Are you going to get there, Joe? <laughs> All right, I'll stop. McMillan pressured. Gives it to Graves. Drive along the baseline. Kicks it to Yane. I told you that last basket wasn't his last. And that one isn't either. Little offense by Cedric Yane. He's got five. McAndrews with 16 and Gil Fernandez with 10. Chavez leads all scorers with 25. McAndrews again misses. He looked a little determined and ready to shoot that basketball. That was a... Uh, Kind of weird sequence there along the baseline. Little lob to Fernandez, and they call. They called Malcolm Jenkins with the foul. Jump hook. Gil Fernandez does his best Swin Nader impersonation. Google it. Played for UCLA. And he shot jump hooks. Back to action. Chavez. And Malcolm Jenkins is fouled. And he'll get a couple of free throws. Alex Gil Fernandez has got a good inside game of getting to the basket. He feels comfortable in the paint, yet he's not really a post player, but he plays like one. Graves and Sufi working a little two man game. Kick out to Jenkins, to Yane. And that is not his last basket. He's got eight. Welcome back to scoring, Cedric Yane. That's great. Long rebound by Yane. Stolen from him. And we've got a hell basketball. No, we give Coach Stanley the timeout. I don't know where their consistency is on those timeouts. But there's Yane. Spot up. Spot up jumper. And... I don't know if you saw it. Here's another angle. Is Coach McMillan didn't like the call of the timeout because that same exact situation happened earlier. Look at the big fella. Cheeks are red. Coaching hard. McDonald's All-American. The original McDonald's All-American at University of Arizona. And his coaching staff and his teammate and his players telling the big fella to calm down. Gil Fernandez inbound to Calero. McAndrews. Block shot. Skyler Chavez. And I think Blake Henry is hurt on the play. And he was hurt earlier in the game. Ventura still leads San Diego City 58-55. Santa Rosa is 9 of 20 from long range 
Foothill is 5 of 18. San Francisco leads Cabrillo 26-18 in the first half. This is around this time last year we streamed, we brought you that game. Yene with the strip, but the foul is called. And Yene's second. He tried to get him early, surely. That's what they always taught me at camp. Get him early. But the official with the call, they've done a good job. They're always big supporters of NorCal Sports TV. Like They like to go home and watch the game. These officials evaluate themselves. They love doing what they do, and it's not an easy job. Jenkins with the basketball to Yanae. He's got the hot hand. Chavez will drive for Yane. Heartbreak Hotel. McAndrews with a long rebound. Sliding where there is a slight leak in the floor or slight leak in the roof. We've had some precip here in Santa Rosa. Five point basketball game. Opportunity for a great possession for Foothill. McAndrews gets his own rebound. Mr. Opportunity. When he shoots the basketball, you got to block him out. And I know that was in the scouting report. Yane to Graves, right wing. Pretty pass in the dunk. Malcolm Jenkins. A dunk a week will keep your season going. Jenkins had a dunk last week and a dunk tonight off a nice cut. Five-point basketball game. That's 11-11, honey, and I love you. My wife watching at home. 11-11 on their clock. On the play clock. Gil Fernandez. <laughs> Skilled around the basket. And there's the dunk. Three guys guarding, and nobody guarding the basket. And McAndrews with the, or Gil Fernandez, just really good around the basket. Both him and McAndrews. And the old-fashioned three is converted, and it's 53-51, two-point basketball game. Time for a great possession for the Bear Cubs. Chavez. Now that was a great shot, but as Coach McMillan has told me many times, sometimes you have to shoot those. Big basket by Chavez. Potoki, fade away, back rim, Graves board. Bear Cubs will push. Swing the basketball. No, or just shoot it from the baseline. Sufi. Looked like he was going to swing the basketball, and the defense shifted, and then he became wide open. Gil Fernandez doing what he does. Fifteen on the shot clock. Sufi with the basketball. Nice move by Chavez. He's clobbered in the head by Gil Fernandez and loses the basketball. Potoki with a reverse layup. Three-point basketball game. Ine drives, kicks it back out to Chavez. 
Chavez went for the re, uh, the layup or the dunk, and he was Wilson Burgard himself. Opportunity with a three for Foothill to tie it. McAndrews checks back into the basketball game. Trey Pugh checks in for Coach McMillan. McAndrews with a spin. And it's a two-point basketball game. And Coach McMillan with the timeout. Let's watch the feed here. <laughs> hey, if they're not going to call it, it's not traveling, right? Good stuff. Jolly Washer Express is the only true express car wash in Santa Rosa. They'll wash your car for $8 in less than six minutes and never have an attendant trying to sell you extra services. If you want a clean car fast and free vacuums, come visit us today. If you want the best deal in town, ask us about our unlimited wash club. Jolly Washer Express at the 76 gas station on the corner of Coffee Lane and Piner Road. Or visit us online at jollywasherexpress.com. Jolly Washer Express will be donating $1 for each car wash for the Santa Rosa JC men's basketball season to the North Bay Fire Relief Fund. Coach McMillan with the timeout. And really, it's been McAndrews and Gil Fernandez. McAndrews just got back in the game, but Gil Fernandez has been working with the sleight of hand and doing a good job for Coach Stanley. Foothill continues to run that matchup defense. Jenkins goes strong to the basket. See, when you're not in a true man, these opportunities come up for you. When somebody drives, somebody always helps. There's the helper, and then there's the backside becomes open. Jenkins nails the free throw. Chuck. Skyler Chavez leads all scores with 28. Yane with 8. Gil Fernandez has 17. And McAndrews has 21. And Jenkins converts both free throws. Don't leave him alone. And a call for the travel. Nice help that time by Skyler Chavez. He who hesitates travels, and that's what happened. Chavez went to him. Fernandez hesitated and got the traveling call. Good defense by Santa Rosa. Eight-minute mark here. Big possession for the Bear Cubs. Jenkins. He smells a mismatch, takes advantage. And every time that looks like the Bear Cubs are going to pad their lead, Gil Fernandez or McAndrews work their magic. And there he is again. Oh, they only gave him a, gave him a two on that. Graves is double teamed. Wild shot. Doesn't go. And the rebound goes to Foothill. McAndrews back rim. Russell can't get the putback to go. And the Bear Cubs with the basketball. Sufi. Ole defense by Foothill. Trying to draw the charge. But Sufi's too athletic and goes right by him. Long range three, back rim. Another long rebound by the, by the 
Foothill Owls. I competed against the Foothill Falcons for 25 years, so I apologize for saying Falcons. Back to the basketball game. Gil Fernandez loses it out of bounds, but it'll stay with Las Positas. That's a lot of room, but he has such a good game of going to the basket that you've got to respect that. And really not much in between. It's He's either shooting inside the key or shooting the three. Not a lot of mid-range game. Key with a rebound. Just got back into the basketball game. Up the court to Jenkins. And he lays it up. Malcolm Jenkins did not hesitate one moment there. Went right to the basket, and it's a seven-point lead. And here it is. I'm going right at you, McAndrews. I'm bigger than you and taller than you, and I finish. Malcolm Jenkins. He's got nine points off the bench for Coach McMillan. Scores around... The state, San Diego, is now taking the lead over Ventura, 75-65. Cerritos over Santiago Canyon, 70-67. Citrus trails Orange Coast, 54-41. Allen Hancock and the I family are happy right now as they lead San Bernardino Valley, 48-44. San Francisco, big over Cabrillo, 36-88. And don't have a score of Sequoia's Yuba or Gavlin and Fresno City. After the timeout, Foothill basketball. McAndrews with the drive. And he doesn't really, he, he doesn't pass the airport test. Pew, long with that shot. Jenkins all over the court. McAndrews with the basketball. You got to guard him, Bear Cubs. He doesn't pass the airport test, but he's a really good basketball player. Midi alum, Patoki doesn't make that three. Pew with a rebound, and he'll look to kind of slow it down here. Easy, big fella. San Francisco leads Cabrillo 46-24 at halftime. Santa Rosa doesn't necessarily want to stall, but you want to have good possessions and get great shots. Less than 10 on the shot clock, down to five. Keeve takes several steps and gets the layup. He almost looked like he was triple jumping. Graves will check back in for Coach McMillan. And Keeve is called for the foul, and that's his fourth. Look legit to me. Pew and Jenkins will take a break. Keeb's got four fouls. Patoki gets that shot block. Keeb goes right to the basket. No fouls called. Sufi cleans up the garbage. Beep, beep. Beep. Garbage truck backing up, and Sufi takes care of business. I think Ine got a little bit of a stinger on his right shoulder, trying to go for the strip. I don't know if we have a replay of that, but he had the strip. A lot of guys going to the basket, and here comes the garbage man, Sufi, with the putback. 
And here's, I don't know if, who blocks this? Oh, that was a three by McAndrews. But on the last defensive sequence, the shot was blocked early, and I think it was blocked by Yune. But I think he popped the shoulder a little bit. But uh, he's he's kind of working it on the sidelines, but that kid isn't coming out of the game. Keeve. Graves and Sufi and Cedric Yane, the four sophomores mixed with the freshman Skylar Chavez, the Big Eight Conference Player of the Year. And the Bear Cubs with the basketball. Foothill will put a little 2 1 2 press on, trying to extend the Bear Cubs a little bit, work the clock, key with the basketball. He drives to Yane. He's got 12. And I was talking to the coaches before the game, and I said, Cedric has struggled, but boy, what a remedy to have Foothill come because he had 22 against Foothill. Turnover. And Coach Stanley... Wanted McAndrews to do something opposite of that. Ine with a wide open look. Bear Cubs an opportunity to go up by double figures. Ine. Such a great kid. I love him being successful. And tonight he's having a great offensive game here at Hale Pavilion. And that's a travel on the Bear Cubs. Starting to plot that trip. Yane. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Next foul, uh, Foothill's not, they've only got five team fouls, so they're a couple away before the Bear Cubs will shoot free throws. Isolation for Chavez. This is the layup. McAndrews with a rebound. Yane now has 14. McAndrews, back rim. Rebound Chavez. He's karate chopped once and twice. No foul called. Graves will push. He's got Yane to Keeve. Here's, here's an example of team basketball and why Bear, the Bear Cubs win. Yanez has missed one shot tonight. But he shares the basketball. And that is the stake in the vampire's heart right there. Oh, boy. That's pretty basketball. I mean, Yanez on fire. He has a chance to shoot the three. And he finds his teammate Yane, or finds his teammate Keeve, who gets the layup. Who will be our fit, grow, fit Pro Go player of the game? I don't know, but stay tuned. We'll have a great post game. And we might we might really extend this post game a little bit. We'll see. But once again, we want to thank the all of the coaches of Santa Rosa. Maurice Thompson, Ryan Cook, George Alston, and Jared Ames for their continued support of NorCal Sports TV. Got fitted with my Omar the Tent Maker. Finally got done with my shirt. Proud to wear my Bear Cub blue tonight. And great basketball game, but there's a lot of game left. Fernandez short with that as his minutes are starting to show in his fatigue. Key with a catch like a receiver in a football game, but turns it over 
like Neil O'Donnell in the Super Bowl against the Cowboys. And that'll be Bo Keefe's fifth foul. And that's his last play here at Hale Pavilion. Blaney now in double figures for Coach Stanley off the bench. Yune gets caught up in the air. Sufi! McAndrews misses that, and Chavez is immediately fouled. And some good sportsmanship there by Foothill. But that's not the seventh team foul. The next foul, the Bear Cubs will be shooting free throws. Sufi to Graves like they've done so much. Ventura Highway in the sunshine where the days are longer and the nights are stronger than moonshine. Pack up the van, Santa Rosa JC. Gil Fernandez with a three. And what's great about Santa Rosa playing at Ventura College, back in 1956, there was a certain McMillan who played for Ventura College. And that's Craig's father, John. And they've got a lot of McMillans down in Southern California. So they'll be celebrating McAndrews with an, one more basket. He has played his tail off and he's cramped up. Played his ass off for... Coach Stanley. And Graves will get a couple of free throws. McAndrews. Closes out his career at Foothill. Tip of the hat to that young man, Matt McAndrews. Graves at the free throw line. In and out. Gil Fernandez with the rebound. And he slips on the floor. McComb. They need to get a towel because there's some there's some sweat right down there at the key. Our camera's on sweat alert. Well, the Bear Cubs, Fresno City big over Gavlin, 48-28. The Bear Cubs will inbound the basketball. And Jenkins will go to the free throw line.
We'll have our Fit Pro Player of the Game after the game. We'll have a we'll preview our All Star Game, and then I will get with our Fit Pro Go Player of the Game. Quick hint: He attended Casa Grande High School. Gil Fernandez. Well, the celebration may be a little too early here. Santa Rosa getting sloppy. Nine route to Sufi. And he'll... He's fouled. Sufi at the free throw line. Bear Cubs shoot very well from the free throw line, but it doesn't matter. And we'll have our Fit Pro Go player of the game. What a way to close out your home career here at Hale Pavilion. You've struggled putting the ball in the hoop, and I know you've been hard on yourself. But tonight, we, I was talking to some of the coaches before the game, and I said, I know Cedric remembers you got 22 against Foothill when he played him in November, and he's going to be okay tonight. You made your first basket, we said, that isn't going to be the last one. Great job, young man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we got a big win here. It's time to head to Ventura, get that W, and try to win the state championship now. Pretty nice way how to close things out here in with your, your sophomores that you played with. You stayed here local. Talk about how important it's been playing at home and playing for Coach McMillan and his staff. It's great, man. Um, all year, man, we've just been fighting, fighting, and fighting, and it's paying off. You see the pretty good turnout today, and uh, it's just a great experience. Everybody is just good atmosphere, so it's it's amazing to be able to play for this organization, and especially with all the fires going on that happened to us a couple months ago, and right now, you know, having this win and doing it for Sonoma County is great. So You've definitely done something for the county, most certainly, and the crowd's coming back to Hale Pavilion. you got to be excited about that. And it's going to be a little special trip down to Ventura College, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but Craig's dad, John, played for Ventura College in 1956. There's a lot of family down there, and he probably hadn't shared that with you guys, but I wanted to share it with you. How's that make you feel and proud when you guys get into those vans and head down to the Ventura, Ventura Highway? Oh, man, it's going to be special. Uh, hearing that we're driving now is kind of a... I thought we were flying, so. I don't know if you are. We <laughs> but, were just, I'm just for conversation yeah. pieces. Uh, yeah, it should be great. Uh, seven hour drive with the team. It's going to be, we're going to experience it, so we'll see. Well, you'll have enough Fit Pro Go. I'll take care of you there.
this is Cedric Yune, our Fit Pro Go player of the game. Thanks, Cedric. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, that's Cedric Yune, our Fit Pro Go player of the game, and couldn't have gone out on a better note with the victory over Foothill. Cedric had 14 points for the Bear Cubs. Had been struggling offensively, but boy, did he find it tonight. And you can see his infectious smile. And we'll go with final statistics here at Santa Rosa. And what's playing in the background? Little America. Lin Little Ventura Highway. McAndrews with 27. Gil F Fernandez with 26. And Blaney with 10 for Foothill. For Santa Rosa, Skyler Chavez with 28. Sadiq Sufi with a double double, 10 points and 10 rebounds. Jenkins with 10 points off the bench for Coach McMillan. And Cedric Yane with 14. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody for their support this year. And great group of boys, young men here that we've had a chance to cover. And, and their games will be streamed next week from Ventura College, where I mentioned where Craig's dad attended college several thousand years ago. From Hale Pavilion on the campus of Santa Rosa Junior College, where the Bear Cubs beat Foothill 83 to 78 to move on to the CCAA Men's Basketball Championship. The Bear Cubs have won 21 straight. Our next game on NCS TV will be next season as the Bear Cubs have punched their ticket for Ventura and the state championship. You've been watching NorCal Sports TV. Thanks to our crew, Tucker Sprinkles, Jason Green, our statistician, Jerry Hurtado, and our director, Dion I. I'm Chris Babcock here in Santa Rosa. Good night, and thanks for being on the show.